What is going on everyone? Welcome to WWE WrestleMania 39 2023 predictions with Heavy Infinite. Please make sure you guys do me a favor and subscribe, like, and also please click the bell so you can be notified with the latest notifications. Please check out all links in the description. And also in this video, there is no copyright con copyrighted content included. And also, I'm getting my information from WWE.com. Please follow me on those social medias that you see in the corner of this uh, video. And uh, let's get started with today's video. Shall we? Yes, we should. So we have 14 hours, 34 minutes, and, 30, and about 20-some seconds. So... This pay-per-view will be starting today on April 1st, 2023. Main show will be 6 p.m. I believe the kickoff is uh I believe the kickoff is actually 6 p.m. And then the main show is 8 p.m. If I got that right. Um, but before I actually go farther into the video, I'm just gonna check on my phone and make sure I'm right. I'm just gonna go on YouTube's uh YouTube channel and make sure I'm right before I actually say anything. So I don't wanna I don't wanna Correct. I don't want to say anything if it's not true. So, I mean, let me go to correct myself for credits due. So, uh, kickoff is for WrestleMania is 6 p.m. I was right. I was right, guys. I was right. I just wanted to make sure I'm right. So, um, that would be different, obviously, if you're on the West Coast and out in California. So, we're going to start out with... Our very first match. This plot, this will be the first match of night one. So we have um, United States champ Austin Derry versus John Cena. Obviously, Austin Derry might retain, but who knows? Will John Cena become the new the, the new uh United States champion? Because something tells me he will not be around that often to do matches with the United States championship because he'd be out in hollywood making movies and all that i think he won't really be around to defend the title i think austin there will retain i'm not i'm not too sure but moving on to the next match so we have the smackdown women's champion uh charlotte versus rhea ripley so we will have a new smackdown women's champion possibly but i don't get your hopes up on this match but i think we will have a new Smackdown Women's Champion. I'm not so sure if that's true or false, but moving on to the next match, we have Undisputed WWE Tag Team Champs, uh, the Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. So, possibly we will have new uh, Undisputed WWE Tag Team Champs. If this doesn't happen, like I said, I'm probably not. We are probably not correct. Remember, this is only a predictions video, so everything I say might change or it might happen. So, I hope Sammy and Kevin Owens retain, like, win the titles. They need, they need to win these titles. Moving on to the next match, we have Trish Stratus, Lita, Becky Lynch versus Damage Control in a six women tag team match. So, obviously, I'm picking um, Trish Stratus and Lita and Becky Lynch to win this match. I'm not a big fan of Damage Control. I am, I am. Damage Control is okay. They're not, they're not all that to me, but. I'm picking Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch to uh, win pretty much and, tr and uh, Lita. My bad. And then moving on to the next match, we have Seth Freaker Rollins versus um, Logan Paul. So I will be picking, obviously, my boy Seth Rollins. I'm not a big Logan Paul fan. I am just not a big Logan Paul, f Logan, Logan Paul fan. You guys obviously know it because I'm not a big Logan Paul fan. I've been a Seth Rollins fan for probably since I started watching WWE when I was younger. So... Moving on to the next match, we have father. We have father versus son match. So we have Rey Mysterio versus his own son Dominic Mysterio in a singles match. Obviously, Rey Mysterio needs to win this match. He was inducted in the Hall of Fame, obviously, earlier. When I'm making this video, he was already inducted into the Hall of Fame earlier. I feel like Hall of Fame is for people that should like fully retire. I don't know if that's just me or what, but I'm picking Rey Mysterio to win. Next match is men's WrestleMania showcase match. 
obviously we, we will cover who's all in that match at the very semi end at the video or whatever so we have undisputed wwe universal champ uh, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Obviously, I'm hearing rumors that Cody Rhodes might lose this match. Uh, my sources say that um, Roman will retain or Cody Rhodes will most likely become the new undisputed WWE uni Universal Champ. I'm not, I'm not sure if it will happen or not. Let's, let's just not get our hopes up on this match either. Because we don't know what's going to happen and uh, what's going to happen. Possibly I've heard... I've heard there might possibly be a return at WrestleMania. Someone may return at WrestleMania. We don't know if it's true or false either. So, uh, moving on to the next match. We have Raw Women's Champ, Bianca Belair versus Asuka. Obviously, Asuka will be your new, obviously your new Raw Women's Champion, hopefully. If that doesn't happen, my my credit is, I like both of these wrestlers. These, these wrestlers are awesome. I like, I like Bianca, she's one of my favorites, and Asuka, she's one of my favorites as well. This is going to be a tough match. Obviously, I think I think it's time to put the title on someone else. I'm not sure if it will happen or not, but we will see together. Moving on to the next match. We have Intercontinental Champ, Gaunter versus uh, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in a triple threat match. Obviously, if Gaunter retains, I won't be surprised. And uh, if Drew McIntyre wins over Sheamus, I won't be surprised. Or if Sheamus wins over Drew McIntyre, we won't be surprised. This this match is this match is uh some another match not to get your hopes up on a new champ being crowned. I wouldn't get your hopes up on this match either. So yeah. So next match we have is Edge. No, what they have it listed it. I, last time I saw, I, I think I saw it was listed as the Brood Edge or something like that. I don't know if it's Normal Edge or the Brood Edge versus the Demon Fembeller and Hell in a Cell. This is probably the first time. No, this is probably the first time in a few years they do a Hell in a Cell WrestleMania. They haven't really done one in a long time. So the last time we saw Demon Fembeller was like in NXT days, and he was pretty much undefeated. Will the Demon Fembeller finally lose and not be undefeated at WrestleMania, or what will happen? Or the Demon Fembeller beat? The brood edge or the regular edge, whichever version of edge we get. But I'll be glad to see the Hell in a Cell match. It, that's going to be an awesome match. It's not going to be your your typical red Hell in a Cell. They got rid of that shit. That shit was horrible. So just let you know, you're not doing that shit anymore. And our uh, next match we have is Brock Lesnar versus Amos. So I'm hearing that Brock Lesnar will possibly win this match from other sources that I have. I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter say that. Almost will pretty much get beat by Lesnar. We don't know how true that is either. I can't go on what I know. But um I think that almost will win. This is kinda like the Andre the Giant and Hogan match. I wasn't really thought of when that match happened, but I actually saw a few actually saw that match. Replayed that match myself and actually watched it. I was like, yo, that's pretty intense, bro. It kinda has that Hogan and Andre the Giant feel to it at WrestleMania. But I'm picking almost obviously I'm not a big I would say I'm old. I would say Brock Lesnar is okay, but I'm not a big fan of him either. Uh, women's uh, women's uh, WrestleMania showcase match. Obviously, I will show you guys who's in that too. And uh, the host of WrestleMania is The Miz himself, obviously. And uh, we we already knew that. So, obviously, you have the United States champ, Austin Theory. His opponent is John Cena. And then moving on to the next match, we have the SmackDown Women's champ, Charlotte Flair. Versus her opponent, Rhea Ripley, from Raw, obviously, I believe. And then we have the Usos, the Undisputed, WWE Tag Team Champs. Versus their opponents, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, obviously. And then we have Trish Stratus, Lita, and Becky Lynch versus their opponents, Damage Control. They, they had Damage Control, but I don't know what happened. It says Damage Control down there, but it says uh, Bailey and Io Sky and obviously members who are in damage control so we have Seth freaking Rollins his opponent um Logan Paul obviously a YouTuber too so we have father versus son we have Rey Mysterio and, and his uh obviously he's going to be facing his son at Wrestlemania I believe this is not going to be his last match I believe it's not going to be the last time we see Rey Mysterio obviously and then we have Here's the men's showcase match I was talking about. So we have um, a team of Ricochet and uh, Strom, Strom and Ricochet. And we have the Street Profits versus 
the uh, Alpha Academy and the Biking Raiders, obviously. It's going to be kind of a cool match. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to say that. Most likely, Braun Strowman and um, Ricochet will possibly win this match. I'm not so sure, but we will see. And uh, we have Roman Reigns, Undisputed, WWE Chap, and his opponent, Cody Ro the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And now, obviously, we have um, the EFC of WWE, Bianca Belair, the WWE Raw, Raw Women's Champ, and her opponent, Asuka. And then we have Gunter, obviously, the Intercontinental Champ, and his opponents, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, obviously. And then we have Finn Balor. No, we have Edge and his opponent, the Demon Finn Balor, obviously. And then we have Brock Lesnar, his opponent, Amos. And then we have uh Alright, here's this here's this uh women's uh WrestleMania showcase match. So we have Liv Morgan and Rhea Rip uh Raquel Rodriguez. I don't know why I said Rhea Ripley, that's my bad. And then we have Naomi and no, not Naomi, uh Natalia and EO Sky. And we also have Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. Obviously should have been someone else. And uh we have Ronda Rousey and her friend uh, Shayna Baszler. Obviously, the people I want to win this match is obviously Liv Morgan and uh, Raquel Rodriguez. I think those two should win that match. Uh, that was that's going to be a really cool match too. And then obviously your host of WrestleMania is Miz. Uh, but that's everything I covered in this video. Hopefully, if you guys enjoyed, let me know who you. Let me know how hype, hype you are for WrestleMania. Let me know if you're going to WrestleMania. Let me know if you're uh, extremely hyped for WrestleMania. But Again, this pay-per-view will be obviously in Los Angeles, California. Obviously, the time over there when that pay-per-view starts will be totally different. Um, but on the East Coast, it will be starting at 6 p.m. for kickoff and 8 p.m. Eastern for the actual show. It will be in 14 hours, 23 minutes, and about 19 seconds probably. Um, but something like that. But I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my WWE WrestleMania 39 uh, 2023 predictions with Hey Be Infinite. Leave a comment, leave a like, and like, click the bell so you can be notified. Never miss out on any of my videos or live streams. And we'll also check out the links down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um we will we will have uh we will have all the streams put together very soon, chat. Very soon, everyone. If you guys are wondering if uh I'm gonna be Streaming my live reaction tees? Yes, I will. I'll be doing night one today and night two today. If you see this video, obviously, it's, it's been put out later. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Hey, man, for the universe. Remember, guys, that the future is also infinite and forever. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, everybody. Take care.